people are looking at you. Indignation over cruelty diminishes in proportion as the victims are less like normal readers, the more they are swarthy, dirty, dago-like. This throws as much light on the crimes as on the spectators. Perhaps the social schematization of perception in anti-Semites is such that they do not see Jews as human beings at all. The constantly encountered assertion that savages, black people, Japanese, or like animals, monkeys, for example, is the key to the pogrom. The possibility of pogroms is decided in the moment when the gaze of a fatally wounded animal falls on a human being. The defiance with which he repels this gaze, after all, it's only an animal, reappears irresistibly in cruelties done to human beings, the perpetrators having again and again to reassure themselves that it is only an animal, because they could never fully believe this even of animals. In repressive society, the concept of man is itself a parody of divine likeness. The mechanism of pathic projection determines that those in power perceive as human only their own reflected image, instead of reflecting back the human as precisely what is different. Murder is thus the repeated attempt by yet greater madness to distort the madness of such false perception into reason. What was not seen as human and yet is human is made a thing so that its stirrings can no longer refute the manic gaze.